So I'm going to try to turbocharge this presentation just as quickly as I possibly can. It's really just designed to welcome all of you here. You know, we're incredibly grateful to have you here. So if we think about what we did last year, what we basically did was ask ourselves, what is transformative technology? And this conference is unique because it attracts the people who actually make the stuff. And it's maybe the only conference in the space that really does that. So it's really a tribute to you because it's all of you who are out there pioneering these amazing changes in human well-being. So we're just happy to have you here and we really just want to thank you very much for having come here. As I said, last year what we did was we basically tried to get our arms around what transformative technology is. <laughs> All right, so sorry about that. All right, yeah, let's just use the full slide. We won't bother doing a reveal on it. So if you think about it, we had last year, starting from the very top right corner there, we had HeartMath, which is a pioneer in the space, really the grandfather of the space that survives to this moment. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to have this range of companies. We wanted to have this range of people that were here. So HeartMath, Long established, lots of sales every year, changing lives all around the world, still very innovative from a research standpoint, very alive, very much have sort of kept this space alive for decades. And then Muse, if you think about the next one, Muse is here again uh, this year, as is uh, HeartMath. And Muse is basically a brand that has gotten a lot of money in, but they're a new brand. But they've become a very dominant brand in terms of being able to hand out. EEG headsets and really advance sort of the space. The next one up there was um, another one that was new last year and I think kind of a little spooky to some people, right, which is brain stimulation. Now it's a year later, like brain stimulation is everywhere. You just, I mean, you see it on the nightly news and you see it all over the place. It's no longer has sort of that edginess that it had last year. And in fact, we're gonna have a great talk on it again this year. So that was Think. And then another one, which was uh, a new product that tried to pull all of that together onto your smartphone uh, called Jio, which was done in partnership with uh, Deepak Chopra, one of our partners as well. Jio, I don't think was even launched at the point that we were here last year. And now that I was at a conference maybe last month where there were 100,000 people trying to view the content for that conference through Jio, it's just literally exploded. It's gotten huge, and we've seen that across the entire space. And then the last one, the makers, bringing in the makers. Mikey Siegel's here somewhere. Mikey, where are you, if you could, right up here. Uh, so Consciousness Hacking, he's the co-founder of this conference. This place wouldn't be here, this conference wouldn't be here without him. And then across the top, right, we, had, we brought in funding people. We brought in people, because you're all making stuff, right, but you wanna get money for it, get it out into the world, a lot of you, so we brought in the perspective of those folks. And then we brought in scientists on the far side. You can see the famous picture of Stuart Hameroff holding the ultrasound thing to his head, showing you his brain. Just you know, I mean, it's a little thing, like he feels like he needs evidence that he's got a brain. He's a really smart guy, though. You know, he does amazing stuff. Um, Judd Brewer we had last year. We had Adam Ghazali last year. These are people doing revolutionary stuff with EEG, really complicated revolutionary stuff with EEG. And then we had some visionary talks. So we had um, some amazing, like the, the biggest, fastest slideshow that you could possibly imagine for everything that's going on and is gonna go on from a medical and well-being type of standpoint, just as an example, and Jamie Wheel here for Flow. All right, so in fact, things went so well since the last conference that we had to create the TransTech 200 so we could help people kind of figure out who was in the space and all of these different corners and all of that kind of stuff. So you saw the TransTech 200 come out. If you haven't seen that, it's at transtech200.com, so you can check it out. Yesterday, we had a bunch of the TransTech people here, and these are pictures literally from yesterday, and we had a mashup between investors, key investors in the space, and TransTech companies to really sort of get the fuel, get the rocket fuel to key companies in this space and keep this trajectory launching even more. We've seen some of the first university programs 
one here, Mikey Siegel teaching one at Stanford, uh, Gino Yu at Hong Kong Polytechnic, and there are others, but these are like three people that are in the room that you can meet that have done these courses. Uh, there, were, there really were no courses in this before the last year or so. And then accelerators. Some major accelerators have been pulling through trans tech people, and that includes maybe the largest hardware accelerator out there, Hacks. And Hacks has actually pulled through three people that are here at the conference that you can talk to. Uh, so these were companies uh, that some of them were in our exhibition hall last year. They're all part of the uh, Trans Tech 200, and they've now been to China. They've been through that whole iteration process, and they're getting their stuff out into the world. And then finally, pretty soon, we're going to have the first store experience for Trans Tech in partnership with Evolver in New York. So there's just, I mean, I could go on and on and on and on and on. There's so much stuff going on in this space that was catalyzed just from last year. So let's take a look at this year, and I'm going to go again super, super quick, just to not drain us on time here. So our first couple of folks up here are going to introduce us to really a comprehensive and cutting edge view of heart rate variability and EEG. We're then going to have a panel that brings in some of the absolute veterans, some of the people that really founded the EEG space in different ways. And we're going to look at how we can bring that technology into this space here in the valley, into the transformative technology space, and sort of move it all ahead. Then we're going to have another foundational talk on another key technology, which is GSR. And so this top row basically gives you one of the key strategies that we're trying to do with this year's conference, which is to help you go deep on the technology. Last year, we got our arms around it. This year, we want to provide you with comprehensive information, in-depth stuff, what's going on, what can you do right now, and also who's doing it at a company level. So we have Feel here, as an example, which has a great prototype wristband that you've probably seen on Kickstarter and other places that involves a lot of those different technologies, like GSR, as an example. We're going to have someone that's a leading researcher in ultrasound, um, one of the protégés, actually, of Stuart Hameroff, who spoke here last year, who's really one of the young researchers in the space, just driving it all forward, super interested in this from a meditation standpoint, super interested in this from a well-being standpoint, and the guy who's making devices that comes out of our community here. Uh, you know, we've been working with Sterling for at least a couple of years now. He's one of those guys. He's been through the China manufacturing process. His stuff is being used all over the place. He's an incredible success story. We're going to have some things that you may never thought about before, and I think that's a good example. This is Yuval Moore from Beyond Verbal. Be the, the idea that you can process verbal information or that you can process audio information, you can analyze it at a frequency level, is going to be a revolutionary thing. And it's on very, very few people's radar right now. We tend to think a lot about sensors. We tend to think a lot about EEG and heart rate and brain waves and stuff like that. But it's going in this direction. And so he was absolutely fantastic to come here and talk to us. They have a lot of the key stuff in the space. Mohammed Tarifi is another one, one of the leading AI visionaries at Google. And he's going to come here, and he's really going to give you a, a, an astonishing vision of what's possible with artificial intelligence. Sanjay is going to talk to us about brainstem. So we started off a little bit with Think last year. This year, we're going to hit it hard. And you're going to really get a great overview of all of the stuff that can happen with brainstem. Sanjay is one of the people out there. He's doing some of the most advanced stuff in terms of actually putting this on human heads and figuring out what's going on inside people. Uh, there's not a lot of people that are doing that yet. Uh, but he's doing it every day in clinical practice. Alan Macy, one of the absolute leaders in the sensor space. Uh, every lab around the world basically uses biopack technology. And so he's going to tell us about some of the stuff that he's been asked to invent for people to measure all sorts of biosignals that we've never thought about before. Again, trying to sort of get that envelope pushed. We're going to have a VR panel. Where would we be right, without a VR AR talk in 2016, even though it's not quite here necessarily, right? Everybody thought the last Christmas season was going to be the ball game. Now everybody's thinking the next Christmas season is going to be the ball game, right? So we'll see. But either way, everybody in here better be thinking, that's my future interface 
because for almost everyone in here, it probably is. So we're going to get some information about that. And then we're going to look at some interesting mashups, some interesting products that are, on the, that are out there that are combining all of this stuff in really unique and fun ways. We're also going to take a look at business. Our very own, very brilliant Nicole Bradford with the Transformative Technology Lab is going to give you an overview of the business space. Um, you know, we think about sensors, we think about all this stuff. She's a Wharton trained MBA who's run divisions of huge video game companies and stuff like that. She thinks about where's this all going in terms of the trends in the marketplace and whatnot. She's going to give you a fantastic world class overview of that. We're going to have, again, a panel that looks at different stages of companies and where people are at with their process. And so these faces up here, they basically represent every phase that you could be encountering right now. And the advice from them, I think you're going to find absolutely invaluable. And then we're going to hear the same thing from investors. Some of our investors from yesterday's meeting have been gracious, and they've held themselves over to today. And so we're going to hear from them as well. So we're going to get a good, rounded business perspective. And then we're going to have some visionary talks. The legendary Dr. Gino Yu. Gino, are you in here? Or are you probably you're out there networking somewhere, aren't you? Yeah, that's Gino. So you'll probably never see him in a talk. You know, but he'll catch you in the hallway, or he'll catch you in the bathroom, or he'll catch you wherever he catches you. But I guarantee you, you will meet him, because you will meet every single person at this event. That's basically what he does. Um, so Gino, who is really, I don't think this trans tech space would even exist without Gino Yu. We wanted him here last year. We couldn't get him because he had a scheduled conflict. We actually moved the date of the conference to get him this year. Uh, David Eagleman is going to come. You may have seen him on his big PBS series or whatnot, one of the most revolutionary neuroscientists that's out there right now. So he's going to have, we're going to have a fireside chat with him and Ivy Ross, who is a VP at Google. Uh, she does the hardware stuff for Google, but that's actually not the most interesting thing about her. She has been in this space using this stuff for decades at this point across many different companies. And so she really is someone who's absolutely committed to this idea. OK, and then we're going to have breakout sessions. If you're not familiar with what these are from last year, if you weren't with us last year, the end of tomorrow, we're going to have, and this is only just a small sample of people. There's going to be a bunch more people. We're going to be pulling in people that we meet here. You name it. This is kind of a community-driven thing. We're going to all split up. We're going to go to different areas. And you're going to go to whatever topic you're most interested in. And you're going to meet all of the other people here who are most interested in that topic. And it's going to be curated. That exchange is going to be curated by, if not the leading expert in the space, and I'm pretty sure that for almost all of them, it's going to be the leading expert in the space. But if it's not the leading expert in the space, it's going to be really, really close to the leading expert in the space, because they're all here. And they're going to be generously doing these breakouts. So if you want to do a breakout, see Nicole or I. Uh, we've still got, we, still, we always leave slots open for the community. We leave plenty of slots open for all of you, because we're here to serve you. This is a community-driven conference, and we want to make sure that it's addressing your needs. And then, of course, the experience. Speaking of your needs, um, do not miss the experiences that we've curated for you with these exhibitors and vendors and sponsors and you name it. They're in every direction. And they're not just in this building, incidentally. Uh, you probably have seen the two big rooms over here, right? Right outside these doors, there's a corridor that goes to the bathrooms. There's another, um, there's another room over here. It's called room 141, if you're looking at the tags on the door. That room has a great, amazing VR setup that you do not want to miss in it. And so don't just keep walking past it, you know, go to, when you go to the bathroom or whatever. Don't miss that. And then some of the most awesome stuff is in the other building. And we've put it in the lab. We've put it in some classrooms. We basically just needed more space. Uh, and so we float over into the other building. I get that it's raining, but I promise you it is completely worth heading over to see those experiences. We have Don Estes over there, for instance. He has, he's brought the portico with him. He's brought his sound chairs with him. This is a guy who is one of the core inventors and innovators in the space of using vibration to change your consciousness. And in fact, I wanted to put him not in this noisy space, but over in the lab, because this stuff is so incredibly powerful. I wanted you to be able to get the greatest experience that you could from that technology. So do not miss that technology. There should be a sign-up sheet out in the lobby. All right, so that's it. Welcome. 
And uh, thank you very much again for being here. If there's anything that I can do for you or anything that Cole or any of the staff can do for you, please don't hesitate to stop us and ask.